Ndovu. I'm a communications officer at Women's Institute for Leadership Development, an organization that is based in Bulawayo and primarily focuses on strengthening the capacity of young women and elderly women to actively participate in decision-making processes in Zimbabwe. We started implementing the SheLeads project from the year 2020, and since then, notable results include the fact that Women are now actively participating in decision-making processes and we're really so proud of women like Lezina Mohammed who are actively taking, taking up space within their different communities. These women are starting to mobilize other women to register to vote and during this year in the first phase of the biometric voter registration leads and the second phase of the biometric regi voter registration leads, women like Lezina have been able to mobilize persons with disabilities to talk about issues around electoral processes and voter registration. And it is people like her that have also started to create a culture amongst women within their different localities to mobilize women and citizens to uh, register to vote. During this phase, we witnessed at least a number of women and young women participating in the voter registration process and this amounted to around 355 women who were able to register to vote through initiatives that were being done by ward advocacy coordinators like Lezina Mohammed. My name is Lezina Mohammed. I'm a main team with Women's uh, Institute in Leadership Development while I do, I've been doing mentorship programs for the past like three, four years. Um, with WILD and uh, under the She Leads program as well. I used to be very shy. I, I couldn't relate with people. Um, I couldn't interact with people. But after my training with WILD and the She Leads program, I've since learned to gain my confidence um, to interact with people, to sit, she like one-on-one -on -one with people, groups of people. So basically, yeah, it's helped me grow like especially my confidence. From, from the trainings and stuff for my She Leads programs, I, I am a pres vice president for a trust in my community, the Bonovan Trust. Uh, I sit on a board of directors for the soccer organization um, with some diaspora. So again, for my community, being the only woman in a group of like 18 men uh, in our executive that I lead and coordinate. So th those are the skills and leadership roles that I learned through my She Leads training and program. Um, before it was a stress uh, because like I said, I, I'm involved in politics as well. And I con tried to, well, attempted to contest in the recent by-election in my ward. And the, the, the cyber bullying you get as a young woman, right? Would, get down to me, depress you, and you like want to give up. But through our trainings, I've since learned how to respond, what to respond to, what not to respond to when it comes to the media. Um, like I'll proudly say, especially like where I come from, it, it's so encouraging that I'm actually a mentor. I have young girls that look up to me, that they come and say, we follow you on social media. We saw this, can you walk us through? Um, yeah. We also witnessed key results where women like Sikhelesile Matangu were continuously being subjected to challenges within their leadership positions. My name is Sikhelesile Matangu, Member of Parliament for Pumula Constituency. Um, also the Deputy Chief Whip for Triple C Party in the Parliament. I also sit uh, on the Committee of Health and Child Care, Def um, Defense, Home Affairs and Security, and also the Public Service and Social Welfare. Uh, I've, uh, I've managed uh, to overcome some of the challenges that you face. As you know that, especially Isuma women uh, MPs, we face a lot of challenges, but through mentorship that uh, she leads, uh, conducted via a Wild, I'm able to face most of the challenges. I'm able to 
do my job properly because I'm one of the beneficiaries of SHILIT's uh, program. So to me, even though I face some challenges, it's easy for me to overcome them because I've gone uh, trainings, especially our mentorship, leadership, and uh, what to expect when have a very good leadership field. I have picked a lot of uh, uh, advocacy keys, especially to, especially when I'm, de I'm dealing with the uh, conflict resolution in my com in my course because we meet different people. So he, uh, she leads program taught me to be brave and not to take sides, especially when we are dealing with the community whereby they are elderly people, they are youth, they are uh, disabled people, they are uh, child dead families. Uh, it's easy for me to try by all means to bring them together, to manage what, uh, 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 most of the challenges that, that, that are, they are facing just because uh, I, I was taught a lot of, a lot of uh, skills so that uh, I don't take e e e e community for granted and I don't, and I don't take e community to good drainage. Before I become a member of parliament, it was very difficult for me to stand up and debate, stand up and say anything, stand up and advocate for anything, especially for women. But gee, through the She Leads programs, I can now stand on my own. I don't depend on anyone. I don't depend to anyone. Uh, I always speak my mind. I know who, I'm, who, who am I. And I know uh, when to exit just because of She Leads. She Leads teach you to uh, kind of up Wakushanda, the way Munofan Rakushanda, the way you should conduct yourself, and the way when you meet elderly people, the way how to dress. Because uh, some of us think, Kuti, um, even if I dress the way I want, I go to my meeting, I must live less. Uh, I'm smart. But you check your community. Kuti, community, Kamira say, uh, are they going to respect to Ukaita so mu community? So uh, my last words is, uh, especially to women, let's stand up. Uh, 2023 is around the corner. Let's go out there and shine for she leads because of the programs that they've taught us, the mentorship programs, the leadership programs. So I, I, I urge all young people to say, let's stand up and let's be counted among uh, my candidates for 2023.